Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea, where we're starting from hell instead of from London. Because a odd thing occurred. You see, when I was at the Iron Republic, I, you know, as one does, went for a port report, and instead of the usual port report, we received something else. A port report for fallen London. I have no idea why we got that, what that is, but I'm extremely curious as to what we will get if we give it back to the Admiralty. And also I'm finding some very weird things happen because it did not let me buy fuel. There was a different, I suppose you'd call it market, in charge of uh, the Iron Republic. And now they let me buy fuel and they also gave me a port report for the Iron Republic, so I'm actually kind of concerned about my own sanity at the moment. Also bugs within the game, but mostly my own sanity because I'm positive, like, I have evidence that this happened, okay? I have evidence that I'm not crazy. See, it's right there. Port Report, Fallen London. That's a thing that happened. I don't know why. What triggered it? What is it gonna, you know, if I give that to the Admiralty, what are they going to give me? Like, are they going to pay me for a report on London? It's very odd. Very peculiar behavior. And just as I was in the middle of a trading run that I wanted to do off-screen, you know, I was heading to the surface, sold them some coffee, bought a bunch of supplies for Abbey Rock, but then this happens and I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I need to know. I need to know what... what is the deal? What's the story behind this? Also, there's the matter of the Deviless, which we do have to attend to. But, I mean, that can wait for now. Well, you know what? Doesn't need to wait. We'll be in London soon. Relatively soon. In a couple minutes. So we'll see what's going on there. And then we'll proceed with the original plan, slightly modified. Uh, stop at Abbey Rock just to sell some of these supplies. You know, 46, a little bit excessive, if you don't mind me saying. And, oh, I suppose we could give them light for a little bit. Just for a bit. Anyhow. Sorry, assessing our uh, fuel and supply situation. But yes. We'll stop by Abbey Rock and then go on easterly towards the Sorrow Spiders and the Nocturne. Might as well pick up some extra candles while I'm here. I'm imagining 15 should be more than sufficient. I'm probably wrong about that, but you know what? It's fine. It will be sufficient for our needs. Hi, friend. Do you want to get in the soup pot? I think you do. Yeah, you do. Although I suppose I could have gotten... Yeah, I only need 13 more fragments. How much do you guys give? I think it's just one fragment or something silly like that. No, no, no. no aww. I could have killed you there. Yeah, one fragment. Very silly. Now. Just for that, you guys don't get lights. You managed to get your ship damaged. Ugh. It's the crew's fault, not mine. Of course it's not my fault. How could it be? I was simply captaining the ship. They're the people who actually, you know, manage all the... Minutia of running the ship. You know, keeping the boilers running. Steering. Obeying my commands. Going insane. Mostly is what they do. Or at least what they usually do. Ah, dearie me. Ah, London. You beautiful, beautiful city. Let's uh, see what's going on here. Doc. Yeah, well, let them do their worst. Talk your way out of the search. Hmm. Okay. But I don't have anything to hide. Oh, I do, because I have a sunlight-filled mirror catch box. Ah. Let's see here. Surrender any smuggled sunlight. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that at all. Hmm. We're going to talk our way out of this search. Today's duty officer is a patriot. Perhaps you can claim you're on admiralty business. Of course, you hint at secret business. The duty officer snaps a salute and barks an order. You may pass. That's a few favors used up, but 
I'm okay with that. Oh. And, uh, what are you giving me? A little chat. And there's enough to get me a secret. Wonderful. Now, I'm gonna offer you an intriguing snippet just because, you know, I'm here. I might as well hand stuff over. An unread log. Ooh, how much are you, you are not that. Mm. You're not that valuable. Still, squeals of delight. This is a spicy one. Crawcase will be dripping with envy. Remind me to invite you for dinner soon and thank you properly. Eh, might as well hand in another one. I don't really have any use for them at this stage. Searing Enigma, I'm going to keep on the off chance I find a use for that. Besides, I'm making most of my money from trading in coffee. And what... Um... Interesting, I could hand in the port report here. I was really about the Devilless, but this intrigues me. Hmm. You know, before we do that... Admiral, hi. I have some port reports to discuss. Apparently, I don't have port reports to discuss. Never mind. Well, I have these two, of course, but I don't have... Leave the Admiralty. The ability to discuss this uh, Fallen London port report with him, so... I mean... I'm sure the Devils only have London's best interest in mind. Of course they do. Now, why did we come here? Uh, yes, have you been to the Republic then? Did you want to tell me something? The street is spinning. There was something in your throat. It crowded your mouth. It was hard and nobbled as horn or coal. It spoke rapid, gleeful sentences in one of the languages of hell. It cut your lips when it crawled from your mouth. You're in the street outside the embassy. There's a lump of skintalac in your hand. For memories, the urbane devil told you. Well now. Isn't that something? They just hijacked my body in order to actually deliver a message of some kind. Hmm. Intriguing. Now, as for this... We will pass on the Devilless's second message to the Urbane Devil. The Urbane Devil waits with a friendly smile that exposes his neat white teeth. Incendiary. Ooh. Incendiary material. He reads the letter and emits a long, low whistle that resonates oddly in the metal fittings and gives you the faintest tingle of toothache. There are some very senior names here. Very senior indeed. She wants to come home, eh? Well, either she's telling us straight, in which case Brimstone will have her baked in a pie, or she's trying to swindle us, in which case, well, I'd like her here so I can warm up my own pie oven. Either way, yes, the time has come. Bring her here, will you? We'll pay her fare. Thank you so much. You've advanced the cause of hell today. Thanks? I believe he meant that as a compliment. It does sound very, uh, unpleasant, but, well, that's sort of the matter here, you know. Hell is a business partner. There we are. There's the term I want. Nothing sinister at all. Ha ha ha. Yes. Read the morning papers, please. Thank you. Oh, I suppose we could spend time with the family. Why not? Get rid of what terror we have. And more restful nights. Oh dear. Adorable. Now, oh, sorry, did forget this. Well, didn't really forget, just almost forgot. Uh, hmm. Fifteen? That should be sufficient. Sufficient for what we need. Now, we do need to make a stop at Abbey Rock. Simply because I have too many supplies to buy all the coffee I'm going to need for my next trade run. So, we're going to head east and just a little bit south. A woman could stop at Demos Island. I haven't had tea with the factor in so long. Ah, oh, he is a dear friend. But, well, he'll be fine. Eh. Yeah, we'll have tea with him. Why not? No particular reason not to. And let's get out of the text. It looks a little bit weird when we're, you know, sailing underneath it. Mm. Nope, nope, nope. Although, there is the interesting note that we have blue skintalac now. It fills all your firing solutions instantly. Well then, we have a useful tool now. Okay. 
I will be very interested to see how that works out. Okay, what am I going to do with that? Well, question. Does it have any lore associated with it? A moment, please. Uh, Skintelec, Skintelec, Skintelec. There you are. A lump of blue Skintelec. It blazes with apocyonic radiance. Wars have been fought for less. You may find a use for this, or the alarming scholar will certainly purchase it. Uh, yeah, I think that's a bit too useful to sell to her. Or him. It. Look... Gender fluidity, I'm not very well-versed in that matter. Oh, dearie me. Oh. Already here. And... Come on, get over there. Thank you. Good. Hi, my friend. It has been so very long. Eh, yes. Fungus growing out of people. Charming. Just a wonderful experience. Anyway, there goes those nightmares. That's very nice, thank you. And hey, more stats. Always better. Always better to be better. When one can be. Um, I think irons is what I need to improve next. Or at least will be my next target. Although I could make the argument for more mirrors. Hmm. Let's see. Hearts now. Never hearts. Iron? Eh. No. And your hearts, if I remember right. You are veils. Which I suppose I could go for, but there we are. Oh yes, I could ask her to dine with us, but I think I'm not going to do that. Thank you. Increase our mirrors, please. Ideally, that won't cause us problems like it did last time, but I mean, we're not going to upset Salt this time, probably. Hopefully. And hey, at least it, you know, makes her useful. Still. Hmm. Upsetting that I have to have her as my first officer. Actually, I don't anymore. That's right, I have the Merciless Mode to stay. 6-3... 831. Yep, she's going to be the first officer now. I don't have to worry about pages anymore. So you are not my problem anymore. Ugh. Filthy sun-touched people. Ugh, disgusting. I suppose that's wrong of me to hate the people who worship the sun, or, well, they don't really worship it so much as they just, you know are influenced by it. There's a better term. And as for our mm, chief engineer... Hmm. Do you like me some fuel efficiency? So... Pause this, thank you. And now, we compile our report. Wash the convent, as one does. And time to trade supplies. So give me a few moments. Okay. Yeah, if 25 supplies aren't enough, then we have bigger problems than simply... Well, let's just say we'd have some severe problems if I'm out that long. Let's see here. No sense in going to Station 3, so we'll make a quick stop at Shepherd's Isle just to get the report. Maybe relieve some terror, although we've gotten rid of all of ours now, so... Don't really need to worry about that, technically. Saw something on the western side. Not going to pursue that. I think it was just a pirate ship. Probably nothing of value. Hopefully. Maybe. Not sure. But still not going to worry about it right now. We have other, more pressing matters to attend to. And docking. Hi. Compile our port report. Yes, yes, very upsetting. I know, I know. But, let's see here. Hmm. A thought does occur. Hmm. We buy coffee for 40 echoes at uh, Khan's glory, or sorry, Khan's heart. And it only costs us 3,000 echoes to rescue that gentleman from wisdom. Hmm. I mean, it's not a very good business proposition, 
but it is sorely tempting. No, there's no reason to do it now. I'm better off actually acquiring all the money at well. I say money, all the coffee I can, and then returning to wisdom later. Maybe as part of the return trip, if I find that I have enough money left over after I stock up on coffee. We'll see. We shall see. It's tempting, though. If it was 2,000 echoes, I would be just immediately saying, okay, sure. In fact, let's go over here and check real quick. Just a little little price check on uh, the ransom for that gentleman. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, I mean, getting it... Well, I'm going to say one of the components needed for the Fulgent Impeller would be nice. Would be quite pleasing. Oh, hello. Oh, 175 pages. Yeah, I don't have that. No, not as such. 2,000? 3,000, yes. That's a bit more than I want to spend. Also, I mean, rescuing a prisoner, hmm, no, that's an 18% chance, that's very, very poor form, shall we say. No, no, we'll just go to Khan's heart, and then from there we will visit the Nocturne, see what's going on there. It should be lovely, and by lovely... I mean horrifying, because it's infested with spiders, and spiders want me to get something from it. Which, I don't know what they could possibly want, because they seem to have control over the ship if it's covered in webs. Oh. Unless it's a rival spider council there. Oh. Am I getting involved in spider politics? Oh, that would be so horrifyingly delightful. Let's uh, keep the lights off, boys. Thank you. Now, we just gotta get down there, buy myself some coffee, and we will be all set. At least as far as I'm concerned. Don't really want to do... Well, I can see what the spy network needs. It shouldn't need much. Hey, maybe they just need money. And in that case, I mean 100 echoes. Yeah, I'm willing to give that to them. If they want another spy, well, that's another matter entirely. If it's any sort of really expensive thing, it's not happening. So, what do you guys need? Hi. I mean, that is tempting. One captivating treasure. It increases the network substantially. I mean... I did say if it was too expensive, I didn't want to do it, but I mean... That's tempting. Because a substantial increase in the network makes it safer, right? I mean... Then again, the network has failed me many times, so I'm not sure that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll go for it. Why not? A collector. Your agent has a contact in the Leopard, but the sons and daughters of the Leopard are always hungry for treasures. Oh... Hell yeah. Delight. Your little gift finds a warm welcome. The leopard princeling has placed it in their private heaven shrine, you hear. You also hear something very striking about the rivalry between the leopard and the Timon. Memorize it closely. One vital intelligence. Okay, that is going to be stolen from us immediately. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. But if it isn't, if by some miracle it is not, then we have a very important part of what we need in order to get the Fulgent Impeller. Oh, my, my, my. And we can actually gather a port report here. Wonderful. Hooray. Oh, 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 oh. What else do you guys need? Cash? Oh, Okay, bait. Use a mouse to catch a rat. Gain vital intelligence by tapping your network in Khan's heart. Succeed or fail, this will use up the intelligence. I mean, I don't want to do that at the moment. Because, I mean, you know. I need it for things. 
So we're going to put a pause in that, put a pin in that option for now. I'm going to stock up on coffee. In the next episode, we'll make our way into the bowels of that horrifying ship full of spiders. Which will be just a delight, I'm sure. And yeah, we're using up more. Yeah, there we go. 51 sacks of dark drop coffee beans. Well, that is... An excessive amount of coffee should be worth quite a bit of money. Anyhow, next episode we will be going to the Nocturne, seeing what's going on there. But for now, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I shall see you all soon.